Hey there, I am so excited about this tasting, this flight of the same grape called Sangiovese. And Tuscany is alive with wine and um, history and culture and agriculture is in the Tuscan hills. We find olive groves growing side by side with vineyards and wheat fields and it's incredible how you feel when you're visiting Tuscany. So let's go ahead and get exploring. Our first wine is Prunatelli. It's Chianti Rufina Reserva 2011. Five generations of Gratti family have been making this wine just east of Florence. And there are 11 DOCGs in Italy, or sorry, in Tuscany. Um, in this Mediterranean climate, Sangiovese reigns supreme. So this is a Sangiovese from Chianti Rufina. And I love the expression of just warm clay and plums and cherries, and as well, the typical Sangiovese notes of tomato leaf and savory herbs. When you take a sip, oh, it's like you're in the Tuscan Hills. It's beautiful, um, really fresh acidity and nice, tight, um, firm tannins, but it's also a very smooth wine. It would be perfect with our pastas, like pasta bolognese. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. In the flight, we have the Valdi Falco. It's Moralino di Scansano, and it's a 2018 vintage. So we're taking a trip to the Morema, to the Tuscan coast, probably made the most famous by uh, the Super Tuscan movement in nearby Bulgari. But this is 85% Sangiovese. Ooh, it benefits from the sea breezes in this area by the Morema, and you find the saltiness, almost like when you're making a beautiful sauce, tomato sauce, and you have these savory basil, tarragon, oregano, and then oh, the freshness on the palate, that lovely puckering acidity that makes you crave salt, the salty foods, and that fine, beautiful tannin that makes you think you can only be drinking Tuscan wine. I love this wine. And our third wine, I'm so proud to be able to source this and find this for you. This is Corte Pavone Brunello de Montalcino with nine years worth of age. This is a 2011 vintage. And this is a rare biodynamic organic property in Montalcino. So you probably know Brunello de Montalcino is one of the most powerful expressions of Sangiovese. And here Sangiovese, which is the name of the grape, has a specific clone Sangiovese Grosso, and this is a, a, a different type of expression of Sangiovese, one that has a lot of power and a lot of intensity and age-worthy ability to be ready to drink now at nine years, but what's gonna happen when 10 years from now, this wine really develops. So I have that sandalwood and this kind of clay, warm terracotta earth um, red fruit, cherries, red plums, black plums, cedar. It's all in this glass. It's so delicious. And I'm craving a bistecca done Florentine style with maybe some palm frites, some, some nice potatoes and tomatoes. It's a really beautiful wine. It was so fun exploring Tuscany with you. From Florence to the Tuscan coast to Siena, this expression of Sangiovese has so many different faces depending on where it's grown. But everything is true. Sangiovese is one of the most noble indigenous grapes of Italy. And Tuscany is one of my favorite regions of the 20 regions of Italy. Cheers.